Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something a little bit different. So I've picked up this um, kind of vintage 2007 Star Wars, uh, Lego Star Wars set. It's set uh, 7657 for anyone interested. Picked it up in a charity shop for five pounds, um, but the bricks are in particularly bad condition. I'm gonna show you some close-ups in a second, but the bricks that we've got here are all incredibly uh, discoloured, so they've gone either kind of greeny or some of them have changed. It should be light grey, have changed to like a, a dark grey or a green. So I've spent a bit of time separating all of the bricks and we're going to try and see if using some industrial hydrogen peroxide is going to help us to get these bricks back to the colour that they should be. Um, so I'm going to show you some close-ups of the Lego bricks in just a moment. Uh, before that, just a few things to mention about hydrogen peroxide. So I've been reading a few articles about this. Um, and kind of the best way to go about doing this. I'm not sure if this is actually going to do the job. It's 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. So we'll see. Uh, a lot of the other articles were also unsure about what would happen to bricks with printed or etched items on them. I've got a few of those, uh, including a figurine, just to kind of show you the before and after when we get done. Um, <clears throat> a few important things though, really do use gloves with these. This only works if UV light directly interacts with the liquid. So I need to put it outside somewhere where the gas is can vent off and I'm gonna put it in a small little cold frame away from the kids. Okay, so here's a look at the bricks as they are at the moment. I spent a fair bit of time breaking these apart, but you can see what I was talking about earlier on. Even just the discoloration on a single brick there, that's kind of more the color it should be. That's the kind of discoloration there. As I said before, we've got some figures as well. Kind of see what happens to him. And then I've got my trusted gloves ready. So I'll cut to us pouring in the hydrogen peroxide and then see what we get. And you do have to make sure that um, it covers all of the bricks. get any on your skin make sure that you uh, get it off and wash it off So just a little update on the hydrogen peroxide cleaning. I did decide in the end to put it in a slightly bigger tub um, just so that the sun could hit more of the Legos. Um, they had been in there for several hours. Some bricks do look cleaner, um, but there are plenty of bricks where the sun never got to them. So I'm gonna give this a go. There's another couple of hours of sun at least today. And then we'll see, see how we get on. Okay, so it's actually Three days later, um, due to work commitments and, and other bits and pieces, I only just got round to uh, emptying the solution out, giving these a bit of a wash in a sieve. Um, but actually, the results are pretty good. I mean, there is still some discoloration, probably because um, there were some bits that the light couldn't quite get to. Although I'll, I'll try and show a before and after shot after this. But this is considerably clean. In fact, there we go. That's a good example of one where... This is the colour that the rest of this piece was. Um, I guess the light that must have stuck out the top of the solution. Lego floats, which doesn't help. Um, so I'm I'm fairly confident if I ran this back through again um, and got all of the, the kind of yellowed, discoloured bits facing up into the sun. I mean, the, this is considerably cleaner than it was when it went in. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and construct this. Hope I've got all the pieces and then probably get it get it on eBay for resale. 